Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. We've got uh, an announcement today and it's uh, one I kind of wanted to look at and talk about real quick. Uh, it's the Gravity Orientation Orbits in the upcoming Space DLC. Uh, kind of interesting. Uh, might be some good information here that we can look at and find out. So let's uh, let's jump in and start reading. Uh, dear Stormworkers, in this week's announcement post, we discuss some of the new systems and explain what to expect in the upcoming Space DLC with regard to the mechanics of orbit and traveling to the moon. Uh, I don't expect them to be, you know, exactly like real space because we are on planet stormworks here uh, and things are a little different so we have our own kind of physics that we have to learn so let's uh let's see what they've got us got us set up here as previously discussed space in stormworks will not be a true planetary body simulation there are apparent limitations to the moon in a fixed position directly above in the sky and the world is wrapping grid rather than a spherical wrapping one all right so there we go Alrighty. so so stormworks space is just a new moon island high in the sky then uh, well, no, and there are some cool new systems which model gravity, orbit, and planetary bodies, which results in a simulation that appears to observe many of the rules and effects and physics found in the planetary body simulations. Man, I feel like this is going to be a lot of a mouthful here and trying to get through some of this uh, wording. Uh, let's see. Gravity. Gravity in Stormworks. Space is derived from the distance to the Earth and Moon. The, the pull of gravity fades with distance with a physically accurate equation. Um, can we get that equation? Uh, elliptical orbits. As the Earth rotates, there is a centrifugal effect. Objects would travel in a straight line, except for the effect of gravity accelerating their path towards the center of the Earth and thus curving their path. This acceleration due to gravity is constant. Motion in the horizontal plane is actually moving away from the center of the Earth very slightly. And as this horizontal motion increases, the acceleration away from the center of the Earth increases. This acts in the opposite direction to gravity. Okay. Um, I need, I need some space people here to start explaining some of this stuff down in the comments. Uh, the vertical acceleration due to the horizontal motion is inversely, is that right? And In inversely proportional to the distance from the center of the earth. So as you travel higher, there is less acceleration. Okay. This effect introduces elliptical orbits to achieve a circular orbit of constant altitude. You must have equal force due to gravity and horizontal velocity. Also have zero vertical velocity at the same time. I feel like there's gonna be so much, there's gonna be so much to learn when we get this. Not only are we gonna to have to learn new parts and, and new ways to use them, uh, we, we've got a whole new physics uh, to try to learn and understand here. Uh, planetary body rotation. Uh, the Earth rotates one revolution every day. As you launch from the surface, you launch with the horizontal velocity due to this rotation. This also means that to remain at a fixed position above the ground, you must also be traveling horizontally so that one revolution is also made every day at around 300 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. This velocity balances out the effect of gravity, achieving geostationary orbit. Are we going to have to go 300k plus above above like Sawyer and, and Myers and the Arctic? That's a huge distance. I think the Arctic's only like 100 away from Sawyer. And I think space is only a hundred kilometers away. So we're, we're talking like way out there. Uh, navigation. We are adding a new astronomy sensor. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, that provides coordinates that better explain your location in space. The area between the earth and the moon is mapped. Some navigation type sensors don't work in space, such as GPS, which will stop working at a certain altitude, similar to the real world, right? Uh, because you need three, three satellites to kind of get your, get your coordinates. Uh, the coordinate system provided by the astronomy sensor are much more useful for understanding your position relative to the Earth and Moon. Uh, I'd like to see what kind of, uh, I guess it's just we're going to get an X, Y, Z kind of uh, coordinate there. As discussed, we are introducing world wrapping at the same time as the space DLC releases, meaning traveling across the edge of the map will wrap you back around on both the Earth and the Moon. This applies to quite a high altitude, but as you get deeper in the space, the world will no longer wrap and you can travel infinitely. I guess we can just travel infinitely in space. That's cool. Into deep, deep space. Uh, we can't wait to share this new update. We look forward to your thoughts and feedback on these new systems. Uh, yeah. Uh, Cool. Uh, the astronomy sensor, uh, that's going to be cool. I, I'd like to see how that actually works. And I hope we actually get some new parts next week. Uh, next week's supposed to be an update. I hope we don't get another bug fix patch being called an update because that's kind of, uh, I feel like that's kind of lame. Uh, I, I want some parts. I want some new parts to mess with and get used to uh, learning how some of this stuff might work. Even if it's, you know, like maybe the new tanks and stuff, you know, just so we can start placing some things. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I'm kind of super excited about this. Uh, space is going to be cool. Uh, it's not going to be exactly what everybody wants, but I think it's a cool new area that we can go in the map and play around with. So uh, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.